All right, so we came out to a super target really far away in the middle of nowhere because we got a, a small tip about something. So we're gonna go in and check out what we got here. I want those. Yeah, those are pretty cool. So it happened. They had some in the back. There's also got Cara Dune. And I can't see the other ones. Remnant Stormtrooper, Clone Trooper. Awesome. The tip paid off. So, like I said before, the tip paid off. So, <laughs> yeah. all right, here they are. <laughs> got the Mando, got the Cara Dune. What the? So uh, online, people were talking about finding them at Target finally, which I thought that they were just gonna be like a Walmart exclusive, but uh, people were finding them finding them at Target today. Uh, I looked online. Um, somebody had posted the DCPI number, I think it's called, and um, DPCI. I think. DPCI. Okay. Something like that. <laughs> and I was able to look that up. Uh, we had to go a little ways out into the desert, but um, <laughs> luckily the one we went to, they didn't put them on the shelf yet. And here it is, uh, looking at about eight um, at night. They hadn't put them out on the shelf yet, so they still had eight in the back. They had a full case, so uh, case fresh, and uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, um, you guys still need the troopers. We left those behind. Yeah, there were uh, two clone troopers. Actually, there were two per uh, each figure in a case. So two Mandos, two Cardoons, uh, two clone troopers, and two of the... Uh, remnant troopers. Remnant troopers, yeah. So th we left those. <laughs> those are the remnants. Yes. Those are the remnants at this target. So Remnants of the remnant trooper. Yeah. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? So... We're heading back to that same target that we went to in uh, those last clips, uh, just a few days later. But we're just kind of hoping to see, you know, what maybe we can find them. There's also a Walmart across the street from there. This is honestly just kind of way out in the middle of nowhere. So I think, uh, you know, we can get lucky here. I don't know. Yeah. Also, at the when we go into the Walmart, we're going to see possibly wave two series two of masters of the wwe universe see if any of those are hitting the shelves yet yeah definitely looking forward to those the ray mysterio one and the uh macho man one just look amazing so it would be nice to find those and pick those up so, yeah i don't know we shall see okay so we are on our way to target and Walmart and all that, but we ran, a, we drive by, saw this crazy yard sale. So we're gonna go there first. This is insane. This is in front of someone's house. It's like like a swap meet out here. It's, it's crazy. So let's see if we can find some uh, find some toys. Let's see some baseball cards. Let's see if there's any action figures. Okay, right, so we didn't really find anything there. It was mostly the only toys they had were like like little. I guess like Hot Wheels, Matchbox, there's like Beanie Babies, stuff like that. Nothing, nothing exciting. All right, here we are. Probably nothing exciting. There's a Wedge Antilles. And this is still here from the other night. Oh yeah, and there's a Clone Trooper. And up here we still got Luke's all kinds of Luke's and uh, yeah these WWE's however not not exactly what we're looking for but I would like to see what other onward figures they have if they have any and they don't but I did want to show you guys this it's like box set comes with the two brothers and then whoever this other character is on the right seems pretty cool and I'm also on the lookout for the new or I guess not new but the NECA Bebop and Rocksteady figures that have been hitting stores, but not seen them. And I think this is where they've been putting them out, at least from the pictures that I've seen in other, or on Twitter, Instagram, but 
not seeing anything. However, I do really love these Pennywise figures. Pretty awesome. So yeah, that didn't really work out. Not a whole lot going on in there, unfortunately. So now we're gonna head across the street and uh, check out the Walmart over here, see what they got. Unfortunately, just a bunch of phase ones still. Star Wars is uh, even worse. There's literally like two Black Series figures. Things are looking bleak these days. Worse and worse selections everywhere we go. Unless we wanted to collect these Marvel figures because they seem to be everywhere. And then, I didn't see any turtle stuff. What the heck? They do have these here on the other hand, which are pretty cool, super tiny. Like here's my hand. Next to them, they're small. Like I saw these posted from the New York Toy Fair. Pretty sweet. And only $4.93, that's not bad. Also really kind of into these bendy, and, these bendy figures are pretty cool. I don't know if I'll end up collecting these, but wow, they look really cool though. And if anybody's in the market for a space sword, they uh, got you covered there. Pretty, pretty awesome. All right, so that Walmart was a bust. Seems to be the theme these days. Uh, we are gonna stop at a GameStop. So hopefully we can uh, find some goodies over there. We'll see. All right, so the figure hunt went okay. We didn't find everything that we were looking for, obviously. But I did find one thing that I was looking for when we went into GameStop. It didn't end up filming inside of there. Just, I don't know, I don't know why. It feels a little weird filming inside GameStop. I guess because it's a smaller store, less people in there, I don't know. Either way, I didn't film in there, but I did pick up something I've been looking for. Check it out, this guy. The NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, Master Splinter. This thing is fantastic. Let's go ahead and take it out. We'll talk more about it. There he is, Master Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. This thing is fantastic. Obviously you have the real cloth here that's kind of tattered, got little holes and little wear spots in it. Uh, looks kind of dirty, like he's been uh, fighting crime, so to speak. Now he comes with a piece of pizza and we also have the, the TCRI radioactive material, it says on the back, with a little ooze container, a little cylinder. And then of course, Master Splinter's pair of nunchucks. Now these are interesting. They don't really extend past this. They just kind of stay in this uh, kind of look, which is fine. And I'm sure you can hold them in some way. Not really sure how. I don't know, I guess like that, I don't know. I have to figure that out. Plus I just think it's interesting because the tail just basically goes straight down. It doesn't seem like you can make it go outward at all. So I'm not real sure how to make him stand unless you can just kind of bend the tail how you want, I guess. I don't know, I guess I'm just afraid to break it at this point. Just got it. I suppose maybe something like this, because one of his legs kind of goes forward well. The feet do articulate, which is nice. So maybe he just has to kind of lean forward a little bit, I suppose. I don't know. I'm going to have to mess with that a little bit to kind of figure it out. But I am really excited about this purchase. They did also have a foot soldier, so I do need to get that. Uh, obviously the turtles and everything. This was my first one of this series. Uh, but I would like to get all of them at some point. So yeah, this thing's fantastic. Wonderful pickup. NECA, you are doing wonderful, wonderful work. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. There they are. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we finally found the vintage collection Mandalorian and Cara Dune. This is, uh, well, I mean, I guess you guys already know that because you saw the clip in the dark inside the car when we're showing them off, but... Hey, we're showing them off again. Why the heck not? Yeah. Of course, the first Target we went to, now, <laughs> we went in, um, we were looking all over the place, and uh, come to find out they were on an end cap, and the minute we got around to the end cap, there was a gentleman standing there stacking all the figures. So, we were unlucky there, but... However, that time, <laughs> it did appear that the Mandalorian was not there. Yes. They basically grabbed the Cara Dune, the uh, clone trooper oh, yeah. and the remnant trooper. He didn't have the Mandalorian, so. Yeah, so. 
<laughs> yeah, so luckily uh, the other target wasn't too far away and we hurried up there. Um, I would like to say that the detail on these are fantastic and the weapons that come along with them. The Cardoon is amazing and I just think the detail on it is amazing. Um, the face sculpt is very accurate and I just think they're great figures. And we got really lucky because the target that we did end up getting them at, uh, they hadn't put them out yet. So the guy literally just pulled out the box and then pulled them straight out of the box. So these things have never hung on a hook. Yeah. So they're in really good shape. <laughs> they do have a little bend to them, which seems to be all the vintage collection cards tend to have that little, this slight bend just naturally. Uh, but all in all, like these things are pretty flawless. Yeah, I was planning on taking mine out, but... Um... <laughs> To find them uh, in this condition with the cards really nice. I don't think I'm going to be taking these out and just uh, fingers crossed that I find another set that I can take out. So, so yeah, that's going to do it for us on this one. A little bit of a crazy toy hunt. Uh, obviously, when we got these vintage collection figures the other night, that was just kind of a last minute thing. Like It was like, oh my gosh, pretty sure they're available. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah. um, luckily found that splinter. Now I'm really excited, after pulling that splinter out of the box and checking it out, I'm really excited to see those other uh, NECA Ninja Turtle figures. It's uh, pretty excited about that. Yeah. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button down below. Please leave a comment. Let us know what you're collecting. We'd love to chat with you about that. Please be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified next time we upload a video, which the next one will be on Wednesday. Unless we have something pop up between now and then. You can count on Sundays and Wednesdays. We may have other ones like this past Friday uh, when we put up the Onward video. So just check back with us and we'll see you guys soon. Later, guys.